Hello, Mila here. This is Cold Metal Classics Episode 4. And um, this is a find that I've been into this band for a few years. And maybe about, ah, uh, I don't know about it. I've been into them for a while, I mean, 15 years, something like that. Just one of those discoveries I came across on the internet somehow. And um, this is really an obscure band. Iron Cross from Pensacola, Florida. And there's about five different bands all named Iron Cross from all about the same time period. This is the Iron Cross from Pensacola, Florida. And they've been classified on Encyclopedia Metallum as U.S. Power Metal, which I 100% disagree with. Um, this doesn't sound like power metal at all. This sounds very close to New Wave of British Heavy Metal, but way, way darker and raw. And uh, you just, when you hear it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And you, you could even say, because of how dark and raw it is, that it's 80s black metal. You know. Even though that's kind of a very vague term, is black metal, right? But yeah, they think of think of the darkest uh, and rawest of what new wave or British heavy metal had to offer. And when I say that, you're probably thinking venom. No, it doesn't sound like venom at all. Um, but yeah, this is really good stuff. Now, uh, so this is four guys. You know, they got. Mike Skelton on vocals and on guitar, Rex Allen, guitar and vocals, Dan Bipples, bass and vocals, and Tony Blair, drums and vocals, and there's, you know, some sing-along gang-type vocals going on here, but a lot of variation in the vocals, I mean, the, um, the first song, You Could Die Like That, uh, the voice almost sounds like Bobby Blitz from Overkill a little bit. And um, that's a, that's a, not the best song on here by far. I don't know why they used it as an album opener. It's an okay song, but not as good as the others on the album. And uh, this is their self-titled, Iron Cross's self-titled debut from 1986. And... Um, like I said, very varied vocals um, throughout, and um, it's a consistent album, but there's a, a, a lot of variation between in, in, in the songs. What does run through or holds them together is a rawness, and um, like uh, a certain tone, certain guitar tone, really cool melodies on here, kind of eerie melodies and, and, and solos that are just absolutely great, and this is just good old dark raw metal, and uh, so yeah, Iron Cross, and um, I haven't seen, I wish I could find more stuff like this, I wish I could find more bands like Iron Cross that play that raw dark heavy metal, you know? And this, that's what this is. This is heavy metal. It's not thrash. Uh, it's not speed. It's heavy metal. And traditional heavy metal or like like a lot of the, even though that's a very broad term, we have British heavy metal. And even though they're American. Um, Iron Cross, check it out. Like uh, the song Halloween on here. Very sing-along and very different on the vocals. I think to me the best track on here is the last track, S and M Medley. Vocals are different on that well, but very haunting melodies throughout the song. And you, know, you just gotta hear it. You just gotta hear it. Just, just take my word for it. Give it a chance. Iron Cross self-titled album from 1986 and. Tell me what you think. I mean, if you like, if you're into 80s heavy metal, you want a dark, raw album from, from, from the 80s that has a songwriting, has the hooks, 
has some haunting melodies. This is it. And um, so check them out, Iron Cross, and let me know what you think. Have you heard of Iron Cross before? I mean, this is a very obscure band. I've never met anyone who's heard of Iron Cross. That's why I'm making this video. And have you heard of Iron Cross before? Seen my video? Uh, can you tell me something about the band? Because I don't know very much about them myself. What do you think about this album? And um, how did you discover Iron Cross if it wasn't through me? Right? So, yeah, that's our cult metal classic. I told you I was going to hit you with an obscure one. I think I'm going to hit you with some more obscure ones the next few episodes to kind of highlight some forgotten metal that uh, most people have never heard of, kind of shine a spotlight on it and um, keep that good old underground metal alive for the future generations. I mean, to me, the best period of metal was in the 80s. And it's not just because of the big bands, it's because of those little bands that uh, are hiding under the surface. And we can spread the word, let people know about these great bands like Iron Cross. You know. So yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing with this cold metal classes. I want to keep it alive, I want to share it with the next generation. You know, check this out. Yeah, you know? So, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing, and, um, Iron Cross, self-titled debut. If that's not a obscure, rare one for you, I don't know what it is, but it's quality stuff, quality stuff. So, I'll see you next time, Neil, at signing off here, and I'll have another cult metal album for you the next time. All right, you guys stay metal out there.